Hello, it's Emma Mills here and welcome to episode 79 of my TV. It's nearly the end of September and that means several things. Number one, I've started packing because I'm going on holiday soon, but more importantly, the big goals that I set myself. So the main one was the book, um, 40,000 words by the 27th of September and I'm nearly there. I'm at 37,000 and it has definitely been quite tough going. Obviously, it's quite a time commitment um, business-wise and socially. And of course, you know, they say apparently that you can write nearly a thousand words in an hour. Um, that doesn't always happen like that. You know, if I actually do not know what I'm saying or I can't get into the mode of it, sometimes a thousand words has taken way longer. So my initial um, calculation of 40 hours um, done over September, they didn't quite quite go to plan sorry I've got a really itchy nose um so yeah so but I'm nearly there and I'm nearly done I probably need a tiny bit longer but basically the the back is broken of this book so I've got a good chunk there of something to work with and improve and edit and um hopefully you're going to start seeing this being shouted about and published sooner rather than later um so ultimately I'm going on holiday soon um and something else that that means is that actually Matt, my operations manager, before we promoted him and agreed and worked on his role as becoming operations manager, um, he'd already booked a holiday, which is the same week as mine. Now, in a 10, 11 man business, the MD and the operations manager going away at the same time, when I first found out about it, to be honest, filled me with dread. Um, and I was thinking, my God, so I'm not, I'm not gonna be able to tune out, you know, chill out. And I was looking at it in quite a negative way. I was kind of thinking, what on earth is going to happen? What if something happens where it needs my help or Matt's? So I've started working recently with a business coach for a couple of months, Martin Norbury. Quite a few of you will probably know him. He's called the Scalability Coach, and he takes businesses from here to up here. Um, and he at least helps them and guides them. So we started working together, and I said to him about this, and kind of I wasn't feeling great about it. And he was like, nope, it's the best thing you can do. I was like, okay. So um, ultimately, now, I, now I, I appreciate my business for some of the people watching out there is slightly different because it, it will have more staff in it. Um, and there are 10, 11 of us. And ultimately, we ha we're starting to carve out departments and people have roles. And not everybody in there now is delivering the service and there are manager roles. But still, there comes a time when you need to let go. So as a solopreneur, you're either going to let go and let somebody start to look after some little bits of it while you're away, or I guess you're just going to say to your customers, you're not available for so many weeks. Um, however, you decide to deal with it. But if you then do think, well, actually, it'd be really great to still have the, you know, the phones answered or my diary or my emails answered or customer, whatever service you provide, things still happening, then there is going to be an element of letting go. And Martin said to me, do you know what, Emma, it could be the best thing that you do. You're only away, um, the, the pair of you together are only away for a week. Um, is that you're gonna, your staff will learn lots about what they do know and what they don't know. Uh, of course, for a week, it's not going to do anything detrimental to my business. We're just going to basically get lots of learnings from it. So I'm sure there will some things that come up and they will go amazingly well. And I'm sure some things will happen that need sorting or, or sorting urgently. And whether, so Amber will be, um, like assuming the ops manager role. So whether Amber's able to deal with it or not, well, we will find out. And basically what will happen is we will have lots of learnings from that, from then when I come back in the month of October, lots of things to sort, solve, implement. And actually, rather than, I guess the big, the big theme through this episode is, rather than sort, sorting the individual issues that come up, we will get to understand, okay, what is the bigger thing that made this happen or that happen? Because I won't have been there to see it, neither is Matt. So we will be coming in to just basically understand what's happened and we'll be able to sort the bigger, higher level things and maybe attributing to the little things happening. So ultimately, my thing for you this week to get your head out of the dirt and into the clouds is that at some point you are going to have to let go. And I am reading um, Richard Branson's The Virgin Way at the moment and he talks so much in this book about you have to let people find their way and find the good way to do things, to grow, to become more confident, to bring their own spin on things. I'm good at certain things in my business. I'm certainly not good at everything. And I need people to flourish and grow. And ultimately, you know, Richard did not create all these different virgin companies himself. He ultimately, came, you know, either bought 
a bank and then put somebody in charge to run it and make it ver the virgin way. You need to let other people have responsibility. And so I'm now looking at my holiday in a completely different way. And it is a great time for me to relinquish responsibility, to see what the team are great at, what needs work on. And at the end of it, we will just come back in and we'll get all that stuff solved and we will be further on than we were before. So, um, Thanks for that, Martin. And, and I hope this just imparts a little bit of confidence for you that if you have got anybody helping you in any way, shape or form, there needs to be an element of you look after it the best way, you know how you think, or giving them some um, some boundaries in which they can then express and develop things and, and look at the best way to do it. Because if you're close to something, you might not necessarily know that. Um, and that's my tip for this week. So I hope that does help you get, get your head out of the dirt and into the clouds. And hopefully I will see no clouds for the next two weeks. But I will see you next week for episode 80. I'll see you then. Bye-bye.